Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Last Files of Sherlock Holmes, the case of the serrated, or serrated, 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 serrated scalpel. We're on part six, and in our last video we made it to the Covent Garden and spoke with the flower girl. We discovered a cufflink and learned a little bit more about uh, the person that might be responsible for the, the murder, or at least have some relation to it, uh, because we did find the person who wrote, had this note written, and it sounds like it might be the same person who owns these cufflinks, and we've made ourselves into a local pub, and uh, we're at a bit of a crossroads here, but there are, like I said in the previous video, there are two options to get the information you want. You could look at the snakeskin, the uh, tiger's head, the picture of the elephant rider, and the picture of the black bunting, and talk to uh, this gentleman here, and blackmail him. Or you could challenge him to a game of darts. I, I feel like the, the darts mini game is probably fun. It does, either or will get you the information you need, but I think if you play the darts game and you beat the three drunks, because I don't think you have to play the bouncer, but if you play beat the free, the three drunks and you beat the publican um, in terms of getting more information and what would be more I guess not so much a point system because there isn't really a point system to the game but more uh, beneficial would be to to challenge him so we're actually going to talk to him first to start with um, and you can see how uh, no. I wanted to, uh, I'm going to start that over, sorry. Uh, I was trying to click on the down arrow. I called it darts because we're, because we're going to play, we're going to play some darts. Um, let's talk to him. Oh, there we go. Click down, sorry. Um, so you could say, look at this feather. It's from a crest. How did it end beneath, beneath? You know, so we can we can we can challenge him there. You know, saying, do you recognize this cufflink? Um. So let's see if we can talk to the other drunks. Um, excuse me, sir. Might I interest you in a game of darts? Oh, you might indeed, governor. But not at the moment. I'm busy with this fine mug. Talk to me again when I'm not preoccupied. Alright, what about you? So the board is empty, and I require a worthy opponent. Do you perhaps play darts? Oh, uh, yeah? Josh, Josh, of course I play. I'm the champion in Basel Street. If you're looking for a challenge, then I'm your man. Which way is the board? Right this way, my good man. Shall we begin? By all means, then, you sat me through first. All right, so as we discussed in the previous video, uh, darts is not very hard. Um, basically, the game itself is pretty easy. And unlikely, unlike a regular dart game, you just need to hit zero without needing a double or a triple. Um, so normally, when you play um, play, if you if you know anything about darts, you would uh, get a double and a triple. Like you basically would get numbers all the way down until you get to your final number, and then you would get a double or triple to exit. So, for example, if you had four remaining. Um, like let's say I needed four left, you can't get four, what you would do is you'd get a double two, because that's four. However, in this game, supposedly, you don't have to do that. You just need to get the numbers. Um, so it's a kind of a fun little mini game that they've incorporated. Um, and so basically how it works is you're going to opt your shot there, and opt your shot there, and you throw. So you see, I got 13. So... Um, obviously, middle, middle, high, left. Um, so basically, treat it like this is your, your I would assume, your throwing power. 
um, and and then like your height as to where you're going to probably throw it and this is going to be your vertical so this would be your left of the board right of the board up uh, down on the board and up on the board uh, it's kind of con confusing a little bit in that sense but basically uh, we're going to throw the second dart so for example if i wanted to hit 20 what i probably want to do is hit towards more of the middle which i forgot to click so that was my bad so obviously you can see I threw it way over to the side. So we're going to try again. There we go. I got 25. So more or less, it's a little, again, it's a little complicated, but for the most part, it's fairly easy. So we're going to try and go through this and we're going to try and beat Skipper. He obviously seems to be a little bit better at throwing darts than me. So I think it's I think it's a fun mini game. We scored twenty. Twenty-five. And another twenty-five. So it does get uh it does kind of get a little challenging because um once we get down to the specifics, we got fifty. Nice. Uh we need to try and hit a specific number. And again, you have to do this like three different times. Twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. And basically it's the first person is zero. So we'll do it again. Oh, I was gonna throw. 25 and two. So we got, we're down to 66. Again, it's, it's fairly simple. Twenty-five. We're at twenty-five, so we need sixteen. Um, so we're gonna try and aim more towards the left, and we scored zero points. We had the right idea, but we just aimed a little shy. Now, normally in a normal game of darts, I would have to get uh, eight to get it out, but it's fine. So I missed. So we're in the right area, but we need a little bit higher. All right, so we got eight. So if we can do that again. There we go, game over, Holmes wins. All right, so we've beaten him. So now we need to... Can we talk to this guy and play, play him? Talk to him when he's not preoccupied. All right. Let's talk to uh, this guy and see if we can beat him at a game of darts. I'm looking for someone to challenge me at the dartboard. Would you come to your care to join me? I watch you trounce the other chap with these fingers blessed by Simon and I am all the saints. All right, so Mr. Willie here thinks he's going to beat me. All right, so we're going to go first. 50, there we go. That's what we're talking about, baby. 25. And another 25. So we got 100. Suck it, Willie. Oh, he got a 52. Oh, man. Another 50. Oh, boy. This guy's uh, he's throwing some pretty good some darts. This guy might be a bit of a challenge. I might have uh, bit off more than I can chew here. 25. 25. And 25. He's got five, 25, 
in 50. Ooh. This, uh, this is actually pretty challenging. 25. I guess I probably should have saved after I beat that the one person, but I didn't. Three. Oop. That wasn't a that wasn't a good throw. Oh, there we go. Scored a 50. 78. Hey, right, there we go. You got 50. Ooh. 12. Oh no. And you got 25. Alright, healing needs 25 more. So we need 48. Um, so we could probably go with a 25 to start. Oh, I I wasted that one. Well, that's not we're not off to a good start here, chat. Or um peeps. 50 busted. Bow, bow, bow. Alright, he's got 21. 14. Oh, and Willie won. Womp, womp, womp. All right. Can we talk to him again? I want a rematch. I'd like to challenge you to another game. Beginner's luck. Of course, he accepts. Challenge accepted. Another 25, and 25, there we go. This guy's just throwing dart, look at this. Twenty-five, twenty-five, twenty-five. I'm able to hit the twenty-five is pretty good. I think we're doing a little bit better this time. Maybe. What I need is a good fifty. There we go. Give me another one. That's twenty-five. All right, so we're at 51. Oh, you got a good 50. 50 right on the dot. 63. Here, he's down to 61. All right, so if I can nail a 50 here, this would be perfect. All right, at 25. All right, so we need a one, which is way up there. Uh, so we're going to go a little bit to the right and just a little high. Uh, close, but not right where we need it. He got a 50 and he needs 11. Oh, he just missed. Oh, but he hit the three and he beat us again. Womp, womp. Oh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty hard. All right. So I am going to try it again. A third time's the charm, right? That's that's the way we look at it. We got six. So that's not that's not what I wanted. There we go. Fifty. You can get a couple more of those. That'd be good. Twenty-five. 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 Oh, I thought that was a 50 almost. Almost. Another 25. Come on, 50. There we go. 120. Good throw, good throw. Oh, you got a 52. Nice. Alright, I need another 50. 25 will take. That's fine. Come on, 50. I got 25. I need a 50. Oh, I got 75. All right, we're down to 45. Of course, he gets a 50. 
It's like you. Oh man. All right. Watch it gives me a fifty now when I don't need it. All right, I need a twenty. Twenty wins, so we need it pretty much right in the middle, but we need high. Hip. Bam! There we go. <laughs> Two down. One to go. And we'll uh, we'll make a save. Call over darts. All right, let's see if we can talk to this uh, talk to this other guy. So if you could part from your drink for a few moments, I would welcome your participation at the dartboard. Running against those two depleted rummies is no great feat. I suppose it's up to me to take you down a peg or two. Prepare yourself, sir. All right, well, bring it on, sir. I am the dart master. Sherlock Holmes, dart champion. Look at that. There we go. 100 right on that dot. Perfect. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blew my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. No? This is, that's what I think of. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's try to go. Bink. 25. Oh, that was so close to 100 or 50. Bink. Oh, another one. Bink. There we go. 100. I got you, Mickey. I got you. Oh, okay. He's making it challenging. He's definitely making it challenging. Bam. 50. Oh, we just need a one. All right. Can we do it? Can we do it, guys? For the win. <laughs> nice. All right. We have defeated the three drunken peeps in the bar, which means all that's left is to challenge the publican. Um, so, once we've defeated these three, Because I don't, I don't think you can challenge the bartender or the, um, the bouncer. I guess I could talk to him. I don't think he plays the darts against you, though. But you can't ask him some questions. Good evening, my man. Perhaps you could render some assistance. Looking for a young man who, in my reason to believe, frequents this establishment. You what? I'm seeking vitally important information. Can you help me? Sorry, go we got no loo here. Holmes, I believe we've exhausted this chap's vocabulary, if not his knowledge. He's basically strong, not very smart. Yeah, so basically we need to talk to this guy. Um, good evening, landlord. I have needs of some information. And here might you be. This is Sherlock Holmes. I'm Dr. Watson. We are assisting Scotland Yard in a murder investigation. Name's Taggart, but I ain't no information bureau. Got customers to save. In any case, I see you very little, here even less, and generally talk about it, not at all. Well, surely we can come to an agreement. I need some information, sir, and if you're a sporting man, I just may get it yet. And what do you mean by that? I'll play you darts, and if I win, you tell me what I need to know. Well, well, I am a sport man, as you say, but I, I don't play with just anyone. Prove to me you're worth my while, and I'll consider your proposal. If you can beat the house, I'll play you. Well, 
Coincidentally, I did beat the house. I'm ready for that game now, if you please. And so you are. Shall we begin? Yes, we shall. Now this guy's probably going to be like throwing like really good. I got two on that. That was a bad throw. There we go. 50. All right, I need another 50. Show me the money. Oh, yeah. There we go. 102. Look at this guy. Dink. 25. Oh, he's going to throw like middle every time, isn't he? Or pretty close to it. Okay, he's got 213. Good dunk, 25. 25, just a little tad high. There we go, 75. Bring it down to 124. Come on, Tom. Is this all you got, Tom? Is this the best you can do, Tom? Oh, he's putting up a good challenge. That was 50. Seventy-five. Alright, we're down to twenty-four. So he can't unless he gets fifty fifty. And then a 20. Oh, he did. Oh my god, he's gonna he's gonna get to 20. Oh he only needs five left. Um okay, so we need 20 and four. Uh so that's probably gonna be the middle, and we're gonna say up. Good dunk. Alright. Alright, I got I got a couple of darts. I can try this. I can do this. All right, he needs 22. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I might lose. I might lose, chat. Or, uh, guys, uh, I go for a double 11. That would win. That's a gamble, though. All right, we got 14. He's got to hit five to win. And he busted. All right, perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. Where's 14? So 14's right there. So it's probably like right there like that and right there like that. Nope, that was too high. Okay, so we're in the right spot, but we're too low. So we probably want it up here. So we want like that and like that. Okay, so now we got five. So we need probably here and maybe like there. Oh, yeah, suck it. Suck it, Tom. We got the win. Excellent. And now, Mr. Taggart, as you promised, I'm looking for a young man about 17. Well built, quick witted. I'm told he has frequented, frequented this establishment. You play a flying game, sir. And as promised, I believe the fellow you're looking for works for a chemist in Hattington Street. Do well to direct a few questions his way. Thank you, sir, for the information and the game. Alright, well, we can also ask him some other information as well. He basically will tell us everything we need to know. Do you recognize this cufflink? Yes, sir. I've seen this that fancy link more than once. Belongs to a chap named Blackwood. And just who is this Mr. Blackwood? He's a big blowhard, that's who. He's almost as stuffed as the specimens of, of his hair. See that tiger over the door there? I bought one of them down myself during my tour in India. Blackwood can't spend five minutes in here without telling me about the ratty job that was done mounting it. He claims it to be the best taxidermist in London. Do you know where we might find this fellow? Well, now that I do not, but if you must see of his work, you can. There's a specimen at Bradley's tobacco shop, just west of here. The proprietor is a friend of mine. He had Blackwood stuff a moose and bag it on a holiday. I've seen it myself, and I don't know what it is that Blackwood goes on about. My tiger is easily better. 
it's hard to do all these voices for different characters, so I think I might just read normally. Because um, it's like trying to remember, like, what, what voice did I do for this character? What voice did I do that for a character? So, I mean, it has been a little bit fun trying to come up with voices. Um, so we've asked him about the cufflink. And, uh... So he basically tells us about the tobacco shop. Right, so we say that. And uh, he says Blackwood. We say who's Blackwood. Um, basically, and this is the, cl the clue here, is Bradley's tobacco shop. Um, we can ask him about some of the other stuff as well, if you really want to. Look at this feather. It's from the crest of a cockatoo, a bird of native Australia. How did it end up beneath the foot trail of your pup? I'm not sure. I don't know. One of my customers has a shop uh, what deals with exotic animals. He might have brought it here. It's quite possible. I'd like a pint of your best bitter and something for yourself. Very kind of you, sir. I'll have a lemon squash. All right, well, we are basically done with this spot. And uh, now we're done with this area. We need to head off to the chemist. Uh, and I think, there we go. Uh, so the place we want to go to is the Haddington Street Chemist. Which is right here. All right. We have arrived at the Haddington Street Chemist, and we'll find out more information about some of the chemicals, but we'll do that in the next video.